Hello and welcome back to our quiz game series. In the last episode, we managed to replicate the question across to multiple people over an online game. However, the answers, although the same, aren't in the right order. So we need to sync up that order a bit more. And this is mostly due to be that uh, because we've got the shuffling happening on the HUD element, the UI element, UI is only going to be running on the client. So therefore, we can't shuffle the possible answers on the HUD. We have to shuffle it somewhere else that is central to the server, like the game mode. So let's take a look at what we're doing there. So as I just said, on the question screen, we've got the shuffling happening for the multiple choice. But the shuffling here cannot happen here. It has to happen on the game mode. So let's put the game mode in. And we'll go to ask a question here. When we ask a question, we want to know what are the answers going through into here. So ask question. Before that happens there, we want to get the question. And we want to get the multiple choice. Right, so variable. Current multiple choice. Put that in there. Like that. Oop. And then we want to shuffle it. So now the shuffling is happening on the server side. So it goes across to the for each loop. So now when we ask question, we need to send over also this multiple choice selection. So ask question here. We want to add onto this as an input multiple choice. Set up the text array. And go back to my game mode and I can set it in there. I want multiple choice. File, save. So that's going to go across to that. But we ain't doing anything with this yet, so we need to send that across. And here we've got the HUD quiz. We do HUD question. We also want to send over the multiple choice question, uh, options. So I'm going to ask question here. We're going to do text array here. And we'll name this multiple choice. And we'll pass that through to our question screen widget. Let's go over to that. We've already got the multiple choice variable in here. So all we want to do is not shuffle it, not set it. And correct answer can be handled differently. So we can take that off there. And instead, I want to just have the multiple choice option here, editable and exposed on spawn. So now if I go over back to the uh, ask question on the HUD and refresh the node for question screen widget. You see a multiple choice appear. Plug that in. Go back to the player controller. Plug in the multiple choice there. And that's now all linked up from the game mode, shuffling it through to the player controller, through to the HUD. And showing on the HUD there. And the quiz screen is using that multiple choice down here to set up the array. So that now we'll link up and share the same order for the multiple choice. However, what about the correct answer? Well, we need to store the correct answer too. So we need to do something similar to what we've done here. We've done correct answer, multiple choice, and getting that from there. But again, the game mode needs to look after that. We also don't want people to cheat, so you want the server to look after the, which one's the correct answer. So back to ask question. We want to get from here, get the correct answer. Multiple choice, we're going to get a copy of the correct answer and store it as a variable. It's important that this happens before the shuffle happens. Okay. So now our question screen doesn't need this bit either. You can actually delete the quest correct answer from here if you want. Okay, so now let's test that out and see if that's working. So once again, I've got number of players set to two, player listen server, new editor windows. So now we should see the correct question and the correct answer uh, in the right order. So A is Sonia Treat of Versailles, Versailles, Poland, Poland, Pearl Harbor, and Ferdinand. Excellent.
So there we go. We can now synchronize our answers and questions with all our players. In the next part, we're now going to make the UI interactable so we can interact with it and choose the correct answer and display whether or not we're right or wrong. So join us in the next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. We can find all our videos early from just $1 a month. A massive thank you to all our patrons and YouTube members for the continued support of the channel. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.